Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me on this rainy, rainy Tuesday. Uh, today, the topic I wanted to talk about is how we make long-distance relationships work. Now, there's a couple of different components that I want to talk about because we have to get real in all of the different elements of long-distance relationships and how they're very different from non-long-distance relationships. So first things first, I think we have to be real with ourselves and ask ourselves the question, okay, what are my needs when it comes to a relationship? And how okay am I without physical touch from my partner or as much quality time or, you know, not doing all of the activities with my partner? Like how, how okay or what's my capacity for that? And I wanted to share a story even about my own experiences because I know that my capacity for having a long distance relationship is going to be different than other people's. When I first went off to Colorado for my first graduate school experience, I didn't realize how important this was until I went 30 days without getting a hug. And that was because I didn't know anybody. I didn't have like friends there yet. I didn't have family there. And so the first 30 days of being in that program, I there luckily there was this girl in my cohort who was very like lovey and touchy-feely and like again this moment sticks out for me so she probably has no idea how much this hug meant to me um but she hugged me probably on like day 29 or 30 of being there and I literally started crying like I started tearing up which is not like me like I'm not a person who normally tears up during hugs um but I think physically I had come to terms with the fact that for me physical touch is incredibly important You know, and of course, we don't have to always get that from our significant other, like in a romantic relationship. We can get that from friends. We can get that from family. Um, But understanding like what your needs are and being completely real about that, because you may not be a person who is comfortable or really has that capacity for having a partner who might be like six months away at a time or even a year, like how shout out to like our military and Marine Um, partners you know I know that at times they have to literally be away from their partner for you know eight months a year sometimes longer right Um, and I think that's I think we're all different and I don't think it's right or wrong if you're one way or the other but just be really honest with yourself about that because I'm not sure if I would have that capacity Um, whereas one of my really good friends I know that she did that throughout her marriage and she has a wonderful marriage and is super happy and you know, again, it's not a right or wrong thing. It's just being real with where we're at with all of that. The second thing is being intentional, right? So we have to be, if you're in a long distance relationship, you have to be intentional about making time for your partner in ways that you can connect virtually. You may have to plan things. Like it's not going to be as like spontaneous or romantic or sexy in that way, but you've got to be intentional and put moments of connection on the calendar because if you don't it's really easy to let those moments pass by because they're not going to naturally happen as often as they would if you were in a relationship where you see your partner every day right and so actually planning dates planning fun planning moments of connection is incredibly important so you're going to have to have intention and plan things out and then the third thing i don't think people consider is Sometimes it's actually hard to transition in and out of your partner being away. And when they come back and you're with them, that's going to be a struggle too. Or even if you just see your partner every weekend or every other weekend, I think in long distance relationships and even in my own experience of having long distance relationships, you know, we can put unintentional pressure like, oh my gosh, I only see him this weekend. So it's got to be amazing. And we've got to have like extra connection and no fighting and it's got to be like rainbows and butterflies but the truth of the matter is that um, when we put that pressure on our relationship it actually creates more tension and friction so if you see your partner like you know once every couple of weeks don't put pressure that you know that you know moment of getting together has to be perfect because it won't and it's okay if you guys have arguments and it's okay you know, if it's not this beautiful rainbow thing you expect. The other thing, if you are away from your partner for like six months or longer at a time, it's going to be a transition to getting used to your partner being back home if they go away for some time and then they come back. 
So I think people can underestimate like what that's going to be like when they come back. I think they think, oh my gosh, they're going to be back and it's going to be wonderful and <laughs> things are going to be great. And they don't think about how we adjust to being on our own too. And so when that partner comes back into our lives, it can be a little tricky to navigate like, what is life now like when they're in my home or when I do see them every day? And being very thoughtful that we're going to have to consider that too and have a lot of grace and, you know, forgiveness for the fact or like grace in the relationship that there are going to be some moments of transition and that it may be a little tough at first. You know, something that you were really looking forward to could also be something that is really hard at first. So those are the three things I think that people should consider when having a long distance relationship. I absolutely think they can work. Again, in my own life, I had a one year long distance relationship with my partner. Um, Luckily, we were able to see each other like every weekend almost. So it wasn't like anything too crazy, but we definitely had to put an effort in and like intention in calling each other and connecting. And it wasn't like as spontaneous and like sexy as like having a person there who can just like, you can just do stuff with all the time. Um, And then the other thing is when we first did live in the same city and we were able to spend time with each other, you know, whenever we wanted, that was a transitional period. And so giving yourself grace that these are all things to consider if you're going to have a long distance relationship. I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Um, I hope you enjoy this weather, maybe grab some coffee and um, just kind of enjoy the, the peacefulness of it. They say that the showers bring flowers, right? So hopefully that's the case and I will see you guys tomorrow.